We're ready for problem 7.1.1, and this gives us a mean of the population, a standard deviation of the population, and we do have a random sample size. This size is pretty big, so it's going to uh, drop that uh, standard deviation quite a bit when we compute it. Now, part A, what's the mean of the distribution of sample means? So if we keep drawing sample sizes of 180, their, typically their means are going to be similar to the population mean of 175.3. So the mean doesn't change. So this will be 175.3 or whatever the mean is up top. But what does change is the standard deviation, uh, this decreases as our mean size or as our sample size increases. And here's where we're going to take S and divide it by the square root of N. So the original deviation, standard deviation is 28. So we're going to take our, let's just go uh, S divided by square root N. So that'll be our label. And this is equal to, so in this problem, 28 is our standard deviation. And we're dividing by the square root SQRT of 180, that is our population, or our sample size of n. And this number is our uh, shrunken standard deviation here. This says two decimal places, so I need to round this up. And again, if you want to use Excel's built-in rounding, go for it. You'll see it's 2.09. On the following problems, we're going to use the same normal distribution and normal inverse distribution functions. The difference is you're going to see that we're going to not just use S, but S divided by the square root N. So this problem was just a warm-up for computing these.